All right, school back in session for some students around the region and many more heading back this week and next. If you're a parent, you know how much it can cost to get the kids back in class. According to the National Retail Federation, spending will be up some 5% this year on clothes, shoes, electronics, and supplies. And when it comes to supplies, we wanted to find some of the best deals in town. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton hit the stores with a savings expert and joins us with this Back to School Week report. Joni Meyer Carruthers is a nationally recognized coupon clipping queen. I was amazed at what she was able to buy for less than a dollar, and she's sharing all her secrets with you tonight. All parents know back to school shopping can be overwhelming and expensive. But our trip to three different stores with Joni Meyer Carruthers adds up to big savings on your bill. First stop, Office Max. One cent for a uh, one subject notebook. I mean, <laughs> how do you, you can Exactly, exactly. Office Max runs penny and quarter deals throughout the back to school season. So quarter pencils, um, quarter crayons, just quarter galore. Uh, we have a ton of things in our ad every week. We found dollar deals too. And these are usually between five and six dollars at every store, even your cheapest store. And almost every kid, this is on the school supply list. And again, you can pick up three. So even if you only need one this year, I'm serious. Why not pick up three and use them for next year or donate them? Next stop, Meyer. These five star, which are like the heavy duty folders, are a dollar. The dollar off coupon, free folders. <laughs> That's my kind of shopping. <laughs> And you can use coupons from other stores at Meyer. The post-it notes are $1.09. It's a single pack. There's a Target coupon that you can use at Meyer for a dollar off any. So nine cents for post-its. There's so much fun. <laughs> Hand sanitizer is another item on most supply lists. You can get it here for less than a dime. This is on sale for $2.07. There's a dollar off Target coupon for any Perel, the advanced, and then there's also a manufacturer dollar off coupon. So you can get a bottle of the Perel for only seven cents. If coupons aren't your thing, Joni says you can still find good deals at a lot of stores. 24 count crayons, 50 cents again. And these are for name brand stuff. So even without a coupon, you're getting the high quality back to school. And at 50 cents, pick up two or three extra, donate them. Here at Walmart, they price match any store. And there's a new app called the Savings Catcher. So once you shop here, you'll just scan your receipt. And if it's found cheaper at any store in our area, they'll send you an e-gift card. Joni says if you follow her lead, you can fill your child's supply list for less than $10. You could actually do it with only 5 to $7. And that doesn't include your backpack, though, but 5 to $7, where if you didn't do the stuff when it was on sale, you're going to spend 30 to $40. So it is, you know, you might not think it's that big of a savings, but it does add up quickly. In addition to supplies, when you add in clothes and electronics, back to school shopping will cost the average family about $670 this year. According to the National Retail Federation, back to school spending for grades K through 12 and college will hit about $75 billion nationwide this year. Now, Joni has her very own website that has all of her money saving tips available to you for free. Get connected to 13abc.com for a link. Reporting live, Lisa Guyton, 13ABC Action News.